like people that are able also to switch off every now and then and, and, and you know, bring a bit of uh, humoristic view of what we do. You know, the work we perform is at times very stressful because you have very tight deadlines, you, you need to launch a satellite, you need to be ready on time. People work long days, uh, overnights, and you need to have some time to relax, to, to have a bit of humor with each other. We basically, once the satellites are launched, we take over and we make sure the satellites are in good uh, operation, we make sure the satellites are placed, we, we control the satellites, we tell the satellites where to go, where to look at, what operations to perform. The way we work is that, of course, each team has a certain responsibility. I try to make sure that we uh, find synergies across the different teams and then uh, that we provide all the resources and all the, the backup for the teams to be able to perform their job. We can have a satellite uh, like Rosetta going so far away for more than 10 years and then finally approach a comet and how you get the systems working after 10 years. Imagine on Earth, uh, you know, your, your, your fridge uh, works, but sometimes uh, it breaks down. So we have to make sure that these systems that we cannot access uh, are working for such a long time. And, and the technical challenge is tremendous. And what excites me is how we manage to achieve this uh, and, and meet this technical challenge and make the systems work and bring back some valuable data for our scientists. This is what I find most exciting. When I was at school, I was very much interested in physics, and so I, I was thinking of studying some, something where physics would play a key role. So I did engineering at the Polytechnic University in Barcelona, my hometown. And at the times, I was interested by nuclear physics and nuclear technology. So I specialized in energy techniques, and later on I specialized in Munich in nuclear technology. And I was working at the beginning of my career in that field. So it was a space on the one hand as a very interesting technology, but also ESA in particular. This is what really attracted me. To. So then I managed to, to get a job here. I started in the European Space Operations Center. Mm -hmm.